name is Chris Kane. I work for the Gurney Fire Department here. Yeah, I'm Bill. Uh, Bill Hoyer. Let's call your last name. H E U E R. Okay. Um, Chris, let's start with you. Um, when you first got up there, what, what did you have? How did you assess it? Uh, what we got up when we got up there, we actually had uh, the ride was totally upside down. It was a full ride uh, capacity, I believe, around 40, 40 individuals uh, hanging upside down. Uh, obviously, a uh, little panic struck in. Uh, we did have two serious, uh, or well, that we transported, I believe, and Bill worked on those patients. Um, a lot of younger kids, um, probably 12 and under. Uh, what we had to do was actually tie them off and uh, lower them into our bucket. That's, that's how we started. So what do you mean by tie them off? Um, they were actually strapped into the uh, actual ride itself with a shoulder harness. We went up, we put another safety belt on them with another safety belt attached to ourselves and to our truck basket. Um, if there was any chance that, that the, uh, the individual was going to come loose and come down, um, he wasn't going to go very far. We had them all strapped in. One man supposedly had some chest pains. Did either one of you all work? Uh, that Bill person? had that person. He could probably answer that. Uh, first, I want to explain the situation we had with the cars. There's uh, four people to sit per car. And uh, when we release that head rest or the restraint that holds them in, all four go at the same time. So we couldn't just open up one and pull that person out, open up the next one. We had to open up all four at the same time. So what we had to do, there's only two of us, we had to tie the remaining people down to the car and to our, our equipment. So when we opened up all four of the, uh, the restraints, they wouldn't all four fall out. Right, as far as the gentleman with the chest pain, when I first got there, uh, there was three kids that were, two or six, I believe, and one was uh, uh, seven or eight, but he was had uh, some kind of a dip, 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 dip. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he had problems with his right side. He couldn't function on his right side. These three people I took off immediately because I didn't feel that they were uh, secured in their seats because they were so small. The, and then when I was bringing them down, I, I asked everyone. When I first got there, I asked everybody on the ride uh, if there was any injuries. Uh, one gentleman, I believe he was 44 years old, said that he had chest pain. He had a, a history of a heart attack a year ago. So when I got down, I grabbed all my ALS equipment. I went up there, and when I hooked him up, 